what is a parallel file system? Why is it distinct from the sort of file system that I've got? Okay, so I, I can address that. And, yeah. and, you know, basically that has to do with the access method. So mm -hmm. if you're using something like NFS, you basically can send data over that interface to a single node in a system. And the ability of that node to accommodate the data is going to be a limiting factor, as will be TCP. In a parallel file system, you have an opportunity to spread data across multiple nodes. And if you need to scale the throughput that you need to a particular file, you can just add nodes into that environment and you have a client that can talk to multiple nodes simultaneously. So that's really what the, the, the huge differentiation between what IDC calls a distributed scale out file system is, where you're basically using something like NFS, SMB, it can talk to one node at a time versus a parallel environment that can really bring multiple nodes to bear to scale throughput. And this technology wasn't invented last week, was it? <laughs> uh, no, in fact, it's been used for decades in the technical computing space, as, as Kurt mentioned. You know, many of the problems that needed to this kind of technology were in the research areas. But what's interesting about AI is many of those same kind of requirements exist with AI workloads, and now the enterprise needs to deploy those. Yeah.